listen, you have been fearfully and wonderfully made. Your heavenly Father, the one that breathed his life into you, the one that gave you your gifts, your personality, your smile, when he looks at you, he stands in amazement. He calls you his masterpiece. I love what God said about Job. Have you seen my servant Job? There's none like him in all the land. Notice God was bragging on one of his children. If God were standing here today, he would say the same thing about each one of you. Have you seen my son William? He's amazing. There's nobody like him. Have you seen my daughter Judy? She is so beautiful. I'm incredibly proud of her. Have you seen my son Ramon? When I think of him, my world lights up. See, many people have never seen God as being proud of them because they don't know God as a father. They know him as a savior. They know their sins are forgiven. They know him as the king of kings, sitting on the throne, let's bow down and worship, and that's good. But God is saying, I want you to take it one step further and get to know me as a father. I want you to know when I see you, you bring a smile to my face. I see each one of you as one of my favorite children. Have you ever noticed how as parents, we all think our children are the smartest, the greatest, the fastest, the most talented, the most beautiful? I've had parents bring up their newborn babies so proud, beaming with joy to show them all. They say, Yo, look how beautiful she is. Look how cute he is. And I say this very respectfully, but that baby can be as homely as can be. Skin all dried up, head not proportionate yet, drool coming out of his mouth. Doesn't matter. Those parents think it's the most beautiful baby that's ever been born. Why is that? Here's why. Parents see their own children differently than other people do. Can I tell you, your Heavenly Father is crazy about you. He thinks you're amazing. He loves showing you all. I remember when our son Jonathan was just a toddler, maybe two years old. We bought him this Batman book that he really loved. We'd read it to him again and again all through the day. About a week later, I came home. He was sitting on the couch by himself with that book. I was going to sit down and read it with him. But he opened up the book, turned to the first page, and he pointed to the words, and 